Hello everyone, it's Alex here from Menu Docs, and in today's episode, we'll be introducing a brand new series that will display and teach you how to use the leading NoSQL database, MongoDB. Now guys, I'm very sorry about the issues with the introduction last week, and because of that, we decided as a group and as Menu Docs to start over today. So, let's get started with today's episode. Today we're going to begin a basic rundown for the series of MongoDB. And let's get started. So first up we have our welcome slide, which is going to be a welcome to the series. Second up we're going to be taking a look at the structure of each episode and how it works. As you all know it's going to be quite similar to this. It's going to be completely different than anything else you've seen on menu docs before. And then we're going to talk about the upload schedule for menu docs as a whole as well as MongoDB in particular. And then we're going to close off the episode and get ready for tomorrow. Alright guys, so I guess I should extend a proper welcome. Welcome everyone to MongoDB. We're going to be going through everything MongoDB has to offer, all the way from the neat things you can do with it to the great projects you could create from it. Of course, this would take months to accomplish, so we won't be doing any full-scale projects but we will show you how to use all the concepts you'll need to use in your own projects. Now, MongoDB is what we call a NoSQL database. NoSQL means that it's not a relational way of storing data. More information is in our resources below, which links directly to the MongoDB page explaining it, and we'll have a video in the future explaining NoSQL compared to SQL in relational databases. And MongoDB, is specifically a document-based NoSQL database, and as such, all of our data is stored in documents and collections. Fetching the data comes back in a JSON format, and we'll send the data in the same format, which we'll cover in future episodes. Now, the series structure is going to be pretty cool. At the beginning of each episode, if you saw the first slide that we saw, which is what are we going over in this episode, as you saw that there are four things. There will be thumbnails, of each section as well as you will be seeing timestamps above them for each part of the episode. That way you know where to go for what's going to happen. Now, these are going to appear where I showed you before, as well as in the description. That way you all can click them and go to them directly. And we're also going to be starting each episode with a slideshow similar to this one. They're going to be much shorter. I think there are only four slides each. You'll see what I mean next episode. Now, the next slide we're going to talk about the full upload schedule for menu docs. Now, keep in mind this will change constantly. New series will happen, series will end, things will change, and uploads may not go out. So, make sure to join our Discord to know when each episode goes live and when changes happen. We'll be covering more things on our Discord, especially with MongoDB. Um, a lot of things are going to change while MongoDB happens, especially for the video content in particular. And the structure and upload of the, each video is not going to be as accurate as I would like it to be. So it's supposed to be what you see on the next slide, but make sure you join the Discord for more. Now, this is the amazing thing. As you can see, MongoDB is going to go out on both Monday and Tuesday, which means that you're going to get double uploads each week. And then, of course, there's Discord.js and JDA that are going to alternate on Wednesday, which means Discord.js one week, JDA the other week. Thursday is Discord.js alone. That should be weekly, but we're currently having some um, behind-the-scenes issues. Again, join the Discord for more information. And finally, Discord.py is coming out every other week on Friday. So, this is the current, as of the release of this episode, this is the upload schedule. I'm not going to go back and upload and update this episode every time something changes. So, at the introduction to each series, you will get information pertaining to the upload schedule of the current state of menu docs. But again, our Discord and I'm pretty sure our social medias are going to begin to reflect our upload schedule and what goes on there. So make sure to check them all out so you know and stay in the loop as to what's going on. 
Alright, so I know this episode wasn't super long. It was only about five minutes. But, as you saw in the last slide, I'm gonna be back tomorrow. This time, I promise it's gonna go out, not a repeat of last week. It's already scheduled and ready to go. So everyone, let's get hyped for MongoDB. A lot of the things I have planned stem from MongoDB, so this series that will allow us to break into the next things coming. Frameworks are usually heavily reliant on MongoDB, so who knows, we might be heading there next. All I know is that it's going to be a lot of fun. You all have been super supportive over the introduction to web development series, which of course I pushed in is going to be our introduction to everything I'm going to be doing here on the channel. While it may only be content-wise, there's going to be a lot of cool things coming across the entirety of MenuDocs itself. So, I can't wait for you all to see some of the amazing things that are going to start coming out here soon. But, I'm afraid I do have to wrap up today's episode. So guys, thank you all for coming to MenuDocs today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, of course, I will see you all tomorrow. And happy coding.